Okay, you're right. Welcome to working out exterior angles on a triangle. Just quickly, guys, a bit of a recap. Last lesson, we looked at triangles, different types of triangles, and started to form the basis. So the basic understanding that all interior angles of triangle equal 180 degrees. So this angle here plus this angle here plus this angle here equal 180 degrees. We also had a look at identifying different features of different types of triangles in order to work out unknowns. So we worked out that this was an isosceles triangle. We know that based on the annotations. And then we know if this is an isosceles triangle, opposite angles to the equal sides are also equal. So if that's 65, this guy's also going to be 65. In order to work out H, we simply go 180 minus 130, which is going to give us 50. So that was interior angles. Interior angles are angles on the inside of a triangle. Also, the other thing we had to look at really quickly was labelling triangles. Didn't make a lot of sense in yesterday's lesson, but it's going to make a lot of sense really, really soon. Okay, so if I was talking about this angle here, I'd be talking about angle A, B, C. If I was talking about this angle here, I'd be talking about a different angle. I'd be talking about instead angle, whoops, angle B, a, C. It's labelling angles becomes really important and labelling triangles and knowing how to name angles becomes really important, particularly when we move on. So that was a recap. Interior angles of a triangle are angles on the inside. They always equal 180 degrees. Right, today's lesson, we're looking at exterior angles of a triangle. So let's have a look at our first example. Our first example here, we get given this triangle. And it's told us find angle A, C, D. A, C, D isn't this guy. He's B, C, A. Okay, so he's B, C, A. We know that. Okay, we need to find A, C, D. We need to find this guy here. Now, how on the earth do we do that? Well, what do we know? Remember, this is not about remembering we do this procedure, then this procedure, then this procedure. It's about looking at this diagram and thinking, okay, look, I don't know how to find the answer to that. I don't really get it, but I do know certain things about these triangles. What do I know? I know the interior angle of uh, interior ang angles of a triangle equal 180 degrees. So if this guy's 50 and this guy's 54, it'd be 180 minus ooh, sorry, 180 minus 50 minus 54. 50, 54, 104. 180 minus 104. 76. So I know this guy in here, X is 76. So it's kind of helpful. I got 76. But now I have a little bit of a problem. Let me rub this out. I know X is 76. I'm going to write it down here. 76. I know X is 76. Okay, that's great. I don't care about X though. I need to find out what angle ACD is. I need to find this guy in here. What else do I know? What, have I, what else have I got in this diagram? I've got this straight line. Okay, I've got this straight line. It goes through my whole entire diagram. Okay. I know that it's the angle of a straight line is equal to 180 degrees. I know it's 180. If I put, my, if I put a compass over it, a 360, it would be half of that, 180. I know that. I know that fact. So if I look at this and say, hey, I know the interior angle angles of a triangle equal 180 degrees, so that guy by process of elimination must be 76. If I need to work out this angle in here, if I need to work out this guy, I can just go 180 minus 76. Because I've already got from here to here, I just need to get from there to there. 180 minus 76. 104. Pretty straight simple. Okay? 180 minus 76, 104. Isn't that interesting? Let's look at that. Isn't that interesting? Look what else equals 104. That guy, that guy. Hmm. Maybe it's just a coincidence. Anyway, let's move on to the next example. So, again, find angle EGH. So we know it's EGH. We know we need to find this guy. So, what do I know? I know the interior sum of an angle equal 180 degrees. That's not, that bit's not hard. That bit I know. Let's change this to black. That bit I know. So I know that this guy here, this guy in here, is going to be 180 minus 80 minus 30. Okay. 180 minus 80, 90, 100, 110, 180 minus 110, 70 degrees. So this guy in here is going to be 70 degrees. Now, again, don't have to be a rocket scientist. 
I know that the angle of um, a straight line equals 180. So from here to here, it's 180. If I've already got here to here, I only need to get that guy. So 180 minus 70 equals 110. Ah, isn't that interesting? Look at this. 30 plus 80 equals 110. This is not something you need to remember, guys, but a quick trick for this, if you want to remember, I really don't want you guys to remember procedure, but if you really want to remember this procedure, the exterior angles are always equal to the sum of the opposing angles on the other side of the triangle. So this guy here is always equal to this guy plus this guy, the sum, sorry, the sum of the opposing angles. So if we go back and have a look at our other example, let me just bring up the other triangle. I'll just paste it into this slide. Give me two moments, guys. Okay, so if we bring this guy back again, whoa, he's giant. If we bring this guy back again, we'll notice that, where can I put him? I'm going to put him over the top of this guy. Okay, so we'll notice that 50 plus 54, this guy, it's going to be 104. 50 plus 54, 104, 104, minus 80, 76, 76, 50, 54, 180, 180. It'll work every time. You don't have to remember that procedure though. And please don't, just work out, look, I know this is a triangle, I know the interior angles are equal to 180, I know a straight line's 180, therefore I can tackle this problem. That's it guys, that's in exterior angles on a triangle.